since releasing that how to start video, I've had a few people message me with just general life questions for the first time ever, not hacking related, just life questions about feeling unmotivated or just not really knowing what they want out of life. And there's this one interesting word that keeps coming up and that is directionless. And that, that word really got me thinking. So firstly, let me just say that I'm not a life expert. I'm not a guru. And like anyone else, I've had problems. I've got my own problems. And um, all I'm trying to do here is just share my experience. And if you don't agree with something I say, or you don't want to take some advice that I give, or you've had a different experience, that is totally totally fine and you should do you right so with that out of the way let's let's get started and i want to start by by thinking about the way that as humans we are brought up so the first thing that happens is is that we're born right and from that moment on our decisions um and our life in general is just guided by our parents or our carers they teach us how to eat and drink and walk and talk and play. And then when we're about five years old, we get sent to school. And while we're at school, we learn how to spell and write and add and subtract and a whole lot of other things. And during this time, we add more people to the list of people who, who kind of guide us and direct us through life. And that is our teachers, right? Um, and maybe our friends too, as we get a bit older. So... Anyway, when, when we turn 18, we're finally finished our schooling. And I feel like this is where people's lives start to diverge the most. It's a time where people start to hang out with their friends a lot more. Um, they can usually drive. So they're kind of partying more and they're just enjoying their newfound freedom as an adult. Um, I certainly did that. And some people at this age jump straight into uni. Others jump straight into um, the workforce or maybe some people go traveling or just stay at home and have a gap year. But at some point, and this usually happens early in your 20s, you'll suddenly realize that you are 100% in control of your own life for the first time. And you don't have parents or carers or teachers around to provide direction anymore. Or you do, but you realize that ultimately they're not controlling your life you are so you're your own person and the direction that you take is 100 percent up to you and this can be scary so this is about the time in your life that those massive questions start creeping their way into your head what are your core values? What are your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing? What do you want to do for a job? Do you want to have a job at all? Who are you? And then to make things more stressful, you feel like the answers to those questions are going to determine your entire life. So you decide that you want to climb out of this slump, right? So how do you do that? You're not really sure. So what you do is you start binge watching YouTube videos about how to figure your life out. Maybe you go to a career counselor. You might do a, one of those like online personality quizzes. You might go traveling. All of these things are really great to do, but in the end you do them and chances are you just feel more confused than when you started, right? So how do we sort this out in the end? How do we actually start to figure out what we want to do with our life. How do we get some direction? Oh, and that is the million dollar question. And believe me when I say I have felt directionless a few times in my life. And um, you can actually look back through the timeline of my life and you can kind of pick the times where I've felt directionless because I've made some kind of extreme change to make up for it. For example, uh, I was studying computer science after I finished school at university. 
I was two years through my degree and it was a three year long degree. So I was almost finished. And I was also working in an IT support role and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I quit everything and moved interstate to go and study music instead. <laughs> and the reason I couldn't take it is because I felt directionless. Even though I had this clear path where I was like aiming to finish my university degree, I felt like it wasn't the right thing for me to be doing. And that just led to me feeling directionless. And music was amazing. I actually, I found a lot of solace in studying music. But then um, ultimately studying music led me to feel directionless as well. Uh, once I had like a career in music and everything. So I ended up going back to my first love, which is IT. But anyway, going back to the, the meaning of, of directionless. So if we think about it in that word, in a physical sense, then it makes more sense, right? So let's say that you fall asleep tonight and then tomorrow morning, for some reason that is totally otherworldly and unknown to you, you wake up in the middle of a desert and you stand up and you look around and all you can see is sand all the way to the horizon in every direction. You have no food and no water and there's a pretty high, jan high chance that you will die of thirst and hunger, right? Ultimately, this leaves you with two options. Option one is you can stay where you are, conserve your energy and just hope someone happens to find you for some crazy reason, which is extremely unlikely because you're in the middle of a desert. Or option two, you start walking in a direction and hope that you might find food or water or shelter because you have no idea where you are. And because you have no idea where you are, the, the direction that you're moving in would have to be a totally random choice, right? So essentially, if you choose option one, you are choosing to be directionless. There, there is close to a 100% chance that you will die, right? If you choose option two, you have direction. So your odds of survival may not be ideal, but they're definitely better than option one, which is doing nothing. And that same concept can be applied to feeling directionless in your life. One thing is for sure, if you feel directionless, then you're not totally happy where you are now. And this leaves you two options. You either pick a new direction to follow, or you just put up with what you have now, which is making you unhappy. I recommend picking a new direction. So the moral of this analogy, the desert analogy is basically that any direction is better than no direction. Right. Now, to make my second point, I'm going to tell a completely different story. And this story is from Eckhart Tolle's book, A New Earth. It's a, it's a parable, right? A wise man won an expensive car in a lottery. His family and friends were very happy for him and came to celebrate. Isn't it great? They said, you are so lucky. The man smiled and said, maybe. For a few weeks, he enjoyed driving the car. Then one day, a drunken driver crashed into his car at an intersection and he ended up in the hospital with multiple injuries. His family and friends came to see him and said, that was really unfortunate. And then again, the man just smiled and said, maybe. And then while he was in hospital one night, there was a landslide and his house fell into the sea. If he was in that house, he would surely have died. And then again, his friends came to the hospital the next day and said, wow, you are so lucky to have been here in hospital. And then again, he said, maybe. So the moral of that story is that there are no good directions or bad directions because we can't predict the ultimate outcome of choosing one particular direction. Even when we choose a direction that appears to be a really good choice to us at the time, it could end up resulting in something that is terrible and vice versa. Just to give a personal example of this, many years ago, I had an excellent life living in Sydney and I was a session musician and a music teacher making plenty of money to live off. 
I was self-employed and for most of the part, I could work my own hours. And during the day, I was mostly free to do whatever I wanted. But then uh, suddenly one day, I decided to quit all my jobs, shut down my business, uh, break the lease that I had in my house, sell most of my stuff, and then take a four month contract as a musician working on a cruise ship. And my parents thought I was crazy. Actually, everyone thought I was crazy. And to others, it seemed like such a silly choice, but I just really felt like I had to do this. So I did. As it turned out, I met my wife on that contract and now we have a baby. And now I have a career that's bringing me a lot more joy, fulfillment and money than what I have ever had before. So my choice to sacrifice my entire life to go on that contract seemed like the wrong decision. It seemed like the wrong direction for me to take, but it was actually amazing. It was the best thing I've ever done. So there are no good directions and there are no bad directions because we just can't predict what will happen if we take any particular direction. So how can you stop yourself from feeling directionless and get out of that slump that you feel now? The first answer I think is just to close your eyes and imagine your future self exactly as you want to be. Uh, imagine everything. Imagine your clothes, your surroundings. Do you own a cottage by the sea? Do you have a family? Um, are you living in a mansion? Are you wearing swimmers or are you wearing a suit? It doesn't matter what you imagine as, as long as it's something that you want. And now come up with a goal to help you get to that image. If you were a lawyer in your image, then your goal could be to finish a law degree. If you had a Ferrari in that image, then maybe your goal should be to amass $5 million in savings. And now that you have your goal, write down a plan to get there. It doesn't need to be a, a super detailed plan because it's probably going to change anyway. Um, but just one or two sentences is enough to pick a direction that will get you closer to there. And it doesn't need to be the perfect direction. It's just, it's just something that you feel is a good place for you to be going right now. And I'm telling you, once you start on that direction, all of a sudden you're going to see some other direction and you'll start following that one. But the trick is to not be stagnant. The trick is to not stop and, and question for a long time, like which direction should I take? Because we have all of these infinite choices all of the time of different directions that we could take. And we're paralyzed by choice and we're paralyzed by fear of picking the wrong direction. But we need to remember that A, going in any direction is better than going in no direction. And B, there are no good directions or bad directions. There are only directions. You can always change what you're doing. Everything that you do in life is a choice. So it doesn't matter ultimately. If you start one direction and you don't like it, you can always change. But at least you know that that's not the direction for you now. So this whole video, it may have sounded like a crazy rant to you and you may have got nothing out of it, but I hope that my ramblings made some sense to you. I hope that I was able to convey my thoughts on this whole thing to you. And I hope you enjoyed the footage of um, me walking around Brisbane. <laughs> I wanted to, I felt like I should put that in the video. Anyway, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.